It's about 90 degrees in this room, so I apologize. I will get to the point my brain's a little fried, but I'm finding myself, just like many of you, with less distractions. There's less going on. There's less I can do, like going to the bar and getting blitzed with friends. I can't take the boys down to the park to go dunk on some kids because that's still regulated. But we have a lot more time, and I end up thinking about life and just bigger topics in general and slowly becoming more of a boomer. At this point, I'm just prescribing myself slamming gushers, fruit by the foot, Capri Suns to stop the boomerization if possible. But when it comes to this video topic, one of the things that I keep thinking about, keep going back to, is the importance of money in my lifestyle and the pursuit of it when I realize over time that money just tends to override decency, doing the right thing. When it comes to corporations, at least, and it really brings the worst out of people and it becoming less important and less of a motivating factor to me just to have more money. That's when I saw the recent TechCrunch article about the sad possible future of advertisements in VR and I could have been shocked more than my wife walking into me while I was watching Isekai Reviewers. That is just a dangerous show to watch without the door locked. It's par for the course and I'm really not surprised, but let's talk about the future of ads in VR. In a TechCrunch article by Anthony Ha, AdMix raises $7 million to bring more ads to games, both VR and AR. Now I quote here directly, the concept of putting ads in games is obviously not new, but the scalability of our solution is what is revolutionary, delivering instant and consistent revenue to game makers or streaming platforms. This coupled with the fact that 1.5 billion people play games globally every day, means that gaming is becoming a truly mainstream advertising channel. Now, when I see some of your comments, and by the way, the ones who were very respectfully disagreeing with me, I really appreciate that because it just, respectfully disagreeing with people makes you listen and makes you realize maybe you were wrong about a subject, but many of you were worried that I'm saying no dissenting opinions are valid in anything speaking of supernatural, and that couldn't be farther from the truth. In fact, dissenting opinions are very important to call out bullshit for what it is, and I think this is unfortunately bullshit. But I still need to be objective. I can't just straight up slander it. I mean, I don't like the vibe of Cosmos. I think most people know that. I'll give my opinions on it when asked and I made one video about it, but I'm not gonna make an ad campaign that every time you buy a Cosmos, a kitten gets incinerated in China. The, some people just are absurd in the way they want things they don't like to fail. However, advertisements in VR, I think is a very dangerous slippery slope that has pros and cons and it works for some and doesn't work for others, but it needs to be talked about on why it can be such a problem. And a couple things that even happened just after I read this article shows me there's a problem. Now, I'm also not a doomsayer here. This is not all doom and gloom. In fact, looking into it a little bit, I believe the Oculus Terms of Service actually forbid sort of advertising like they want. I'm sure Steam has their own policies on it, and major corporations who have any type of social awareness probably aren't going to make their money's worth for the amount of unique visitors in VR per day per game. There's very minor, uh, a few games that this would probably work for right off the bat. At this point, you don't need to worry about playing Kenojo VR and getting Trojan condom ads. It's just not going to happen yet, but that could be the future. Admix says that they've created a platform that lets developers insert advertisements into their games in a non-intrusive manner. Now, I get some banners in a virtual sports arena, VR chat complexes, or maybe an ad on a TV screen in a cyberpunk setting. But what I thought was a joke is actual concept art by Admix. This is about as non-intrusive as a dry suppository is when I thought I was swallowing a pill not taking it in the rear. In the middle of making this video, I actually found out that the super hot picture was not actually approved by Superhot. They actually never even reached out to the super hot development team and Sam Hoover, the CEO, basically just said, my bad. If he's doing that once, he's going to do it again. And if he does it, cheats on the smallest of things, I guarantee you there's bigger things that he's cheating on. And that's why I don't trust advertisers. I am pretty conflicted though when it comes to advertisements in my day-to-day -day life because of course they're everywhere. You can't go to a news site without seeing, it's, it's actually actively hard to go to some news sites these days and know which are ads and which ones are story. They are littered throughout. So they become such a norm in my lifestyle that I sometimes wonder if it should just be the norm in VR. But at the same time, I like VR for the escape from reality to a virtual reality. I don't want the reality just virtualized, if that makes any sense. I have no interest in playing Onward to get sniped after missing a clear, easy shot. Looking to my left and seeing now I'm getting consoled by a McDonald's ad. The only ad that I would actually like there if we're talking food is a Hardee's commercial if they stick to their old school non-PC type advertising. Now my last negative before there is one positive to all this, at least for developers, is that I am very worried about eye tracking, especially with the next decade plus of VR innovation, eye tracking will become more and more of the standard. When it comes to ads and the power that they really have to make you focus, they're playing chess when I'm at best playing checkers and more than likely I'm just counting numbers on my hand. It's 
what they can do to make you look at an ad is more nefarious than just putting something in your face. Add in the eye tracking to this equation where they can see exactly where you look, what you like, and keep tailoring ads that are even more and more targeted, which are just taking away from the VR experience. It's just a litany of problems. Now with eye tracking, there are of course privacy concerns and privacy laws that hopefully will prevent that stuff. But like the super hot example where they're already using something that's not theirs and just apologizing, I don't have the trust to say that you're not going to be using the eye tracking information for your own goals, even if there is something set up to stop that. When it comes to the actual implementation of these ads, in my opinion, it's inevitable. This is going to happen. It's the ad apocalypse that we all knew was coming, and it's only a matter of time before it happens. But it's going to come down to the developers and how they implement it. They need to find the best ways to implement ads in non-intrusive ways that make it part of the world, part of the game, and it's up to them to make sure it's right. If a dev does that and it's a good game and I want to support them, then it's my choice, but I will always vote with my wallet and any game that's overly ad, even if it's for them to make money. If it's not for me, I'm just not going to buy it, but that's up to each individual. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. I know right now they already say they have over 500 companies interested in this. I'm sure this money will most likely just be pocketed by the CEO eventually. It seems like an absurd amount of money that's probably going to go to nothing of value, but that's just me being an asshole. Let me know your thoughts, though. Sorry for the downer topic, but I think it's important to talk about these types of issues, whether you like them or not. This way we talk about it. It makes you aware of it. That way you can make your decisions and vote with your wall when the time comes that this inevitably will happen one way or another. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, it would mean a lot to me if you could leave a like. I know a lot of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. If you hit that button, it just makes it easier for you to find my videos when notifications just don't go out. And as always, see you in the next one, Space Cowboys.